Hey everybody, thank you for watching All About Toys. We have our next batch of Marvel Avengers Endgame. Today we will be opening up Ronin, War Machine, and Thanos. Once again, these are the basic line of action figures. So let's open them up and let's see how they compare with the other ones. Here are our three newest figures from Avengers Endgame. The War Machine has a nice gun that can go onto his wrist as well as a much larger one that it looks like he can hold on to. We know that Thanos has a new weapon and here it is in his hand so it is very cool to see that. I love the detailing of his armor. And here we have Ronin who comes with a sword. I love the gold paint detail on his outfit. That is very nicely done. So our review of these three figures is they are exactly the same quality as the others no articulation beyond the legs, meaning they do not have knees or ankle joints, so just the leg. They have really good arm swivels, their heads are nicely jointed. So as you would expect, these are in consistency with the other Endgame Hasbro figures. My favorite is without a doubt Ronin. It is so great to have Clint in this new getup. I think they have nice detail all over the jacket. And sure, it's not the Marvel Legends Ronin that is also available, but he just looks great for a basic figure. And I just really, really like this new design and the sword weapon. It is just my favorite. He looks great, and I think he will make for nice display and play. And I really like the paint job for War Machine, so he is definitely a favorite. I love that metallic kind of silver paint on him, which definitely adds a nice dimension and a pop to his design. He just looks really quality. And our least favorite is the Thanos figure. I do say his armor has a nice paint job, nice detail of the rivets all around, so he looks great. One of my complaints is just his size. You know Thanos is not the scaling size compared to the other figures, so that probably has to be my biggest complaint. Seeing this massive giant with a smaller head than the other characters, knowing that it could be a lot larger, is just my only disappointment with it. Other than that, he is definitely in consistency with the other Avengers figures from the series. He looks really great. I just wish they would have made him a larger deluxe size. Here is our lineup of figures so far. You can see them all together. They all vary a little bit in their height and their scale. But they all look really great and colorful together. For being a basic line of figures, they definitely look quality. And they're just very nicely detailed. There's a cleanness to the paint job. And they all look so epic. As we said in our part one review, for being basic figures, we like them. They look good. They're going to make for a lot of good fun. The joints are nice on the upper halves. And we just think that these figures are worth getting. I was personally not a big fan of the Infinity War basic figures, and I think these have some slight improvements over them. I think these figures are really fun, and I look forward to finishing off the collection so we can have all of the endgame figures. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave us a comment, let us know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. We look forward to bringing you guys more endgame toys.